According to FEMA, flooding is the most common natural disaster in the United States, and it can happen anywhere, not only near rivers and creeks, but also after heavy rains, large snow melts, and hurricanes. That's where sandbagging comes in. This flood prevention technique has been around for centuries. It can help divert and stop water from getting inside exposed doors and around foundations. Sandbagging is pretty simple. You need a bag, typically made out of burlap, and a coarse type sand. But there are other products on the market that can act as sandbags and are easier for homeowners to maneuver, lift, and place. We're going to be using one of these products today, but the same tips and techniques for placement apply no matter what type of bag you're using. Entryways and low-lying areas are the most important spots for building your barriers. If you need to completely surround your home, experts recommend leaving at least a small spot for water to escape. Otherwise, rainwater can get trapped behind the barrier. We're going to build our barrier in front of this garage door. The concrete from the driveway doesn't absorb water like grass, making the garage particularly susceptible to rainwater collecting and flooding. We're using a self-inflating flood barrier system that is actually water activated. These products contain a non-toxic super absorbent material that expands in about five to 10 minutes when the barriers come in contact with water, creating an instant water dam. They're typically available in different sizes and lengths and are sometimes reusable, deflating when they dry and reactivating when they get wet again. Because these are water activated, you can lay them in place dry and let the weather activate them. However, we want to pre-activate ours because we're expecting a heavy flash flood, which could carry deflated bags away. The manufacturer actually recommends pre-soaking and stacking them in situations like this. Also, flood bags like these typically will not work with salt water or chlorine, so keep that in mind. To activate, use a garden hose to wet them. After about 10 minutes, they'll be fully expanded, holding about four, eight, or 13 and a half gallons of water, depending on the product. Now it's time to stack. Place the first row of quick dams in place. The opening of the quick dams should face against the water flow. Stack barriers wedge to wedge. If using sandbags or flood bags, offset subsequent rows of dams, stacking them like bricks. If you need to go higher, widen the base like a pyramid. The higher you need the wall height, the thicker the base should be. Stacking straight up will create an unstable base and they may slide off. At the end of the day, remember that even the most carefully built flood barrier can leak from saturated grounds and heavy rains that go behind the dams. Have a plan in place to remove excess water. 